March 2nd? Same. The same. What about March 3rd? And March 4th? Same. What about March 5th? $25 less. Okay, so March 1, 2, 3, and 4, the balance is all the same. So instead of making a column for each of March 1, 2, 3, and 4, or a row, I will say starting with March 1 and going with, through March 4, this is her balance. How many days did that balance last? Four days. Yep, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Starting on March 5th, her balance went down. We start... Right, the original, the previous balance is what you start the new billing period with. On March 5th, the balance went down by how much? $25. So to calculate that, I'll take my 157.14, subtract $25, and end up with 132.14. That's my new balance. Well, that's the balance for the fifth. What about the sixth? <coughs> Seventh? Eighth? How long am I going to have to get to before you're going to tell me that something changed? So it goes through the 16th? So this is going to continue until March 16th because we said something new happened on March 17th. All right, how many days is it from March 5th to March 16th? It's tempting to say 11, isn't it? But think about, when you calculated March 1 through 4, how many days were there? If you did 4 minus 1, you wouldn't have gotten that. But that's exactly what most of you did to calculate the 11. Yes. Remember when you're doing this, it should always be plus 1 after you do the subtraction because by going from 16 minus 5, you drop off the fifth. So if I did 4 minus 1, I was throwing out the first. So I can calculate this by doing 16 minus 5 plus 1, which gives me 12 days. Or if you are like me, just because you don't always trust yourself, you go 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, okay, 12 of them. And it's pretty safe on these because, you know, you only go through approximately a month, so you don't get to too many fingers. You can usually remember where you are. On March 17th, Denise went and bought some tools. Had to take care of that clog. What happened to her balance? <coughs> it went up. So I take my 132.14 and add in the $36.12 worth of tools.
been in my, in my period, in the healing period. So that's the answer to the first question. You plugged it into your calculator for your L1, L2, and then you calculated the statistics using the L1, comma, L2. So we put the numbers and then the things. Okay, wait. So then we want uh, that me. That's me. That's why you didn't get it.